Hey, live everywhere. Hello. Hi. I am Tara. Today we are making sloppy joes. I am the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, so along with my mom, Jill. This recipe today is in our volume one, the good old classic Dining on a Dime you've known and loved for 20 years. But I'm also making a couple of recipes out of our new edition, Dining on a Dime cookbook volume two, totally new recipes, not the same book, totally different books, but they go together. So they go together, but they're not the same book. It's like part one and part two. All right, 30% off until Thursday, July 9th. 30% off. You can also get my apron, 50% off if you guys need to get it together, people. Apron. I'm, I'm dropping you. Okay. All right, if you're on YouTube, just head over to Facebook. All right, guys. Today I am making homemade sloppy joes and we're going to pretend like we didn't have major meltdowns and we're going to start again. All right, Dave, if you could show what I got here. I have hamburger already pre-cooked in my container, okay? Now, this recipe is in Dining on a Dime, Volume 1 for Sloppy Joes. You're going to take your cooked ground beef and you're going to put in some ketchup. Okay? We're going to pretend because we've already done this because the show went crazy. Then you're going to add your Worcestershire sauce and you're going to put that in just like that. <laughs> and then you're going to add your onion salt, your garlic salt, and your garlic powder, also known as um, seasoned salt. You can either do all three individually or just use seasoned salt and put that in there. Then you're going to add your lemon juice. Now I like this powdered uh, dried lemon. You just put it in water, reconstitute it, and just put however much you need, okay? Then we're going to take and over here, we're going to warm this up on the stove then when we're gonna then when we're done we're gonna take our hamburger buns that i got for 25 cents right there 25 cents yesterday marked down we're gonna put it all on a bun all right there now next see isn't that easy i mean dinner in like three seconds i got strawberries Two pounds for $1.88, which is a really good deal. I washed them. And we're going to make a fruit dip from Dining on a Dime Volume 2 right there. Now, for those of you who are regular watchers, this is our last show for at least a month, maybe two, until <coughs> August or September. We're going to take a break until the books get here. And even if the books do get here, we may still take a break a little bit. From our live shows, we are not going to be doing live shows. We are going to keep doing videos. I'm going to keep doing videos. And we're going to put out some videos that Mom and I did. But this is our last live show for a little while. Okay, so then, for your fruit dip, this, for those of you who have already purchased Dining on a Dime Volume 2 right here, this is on page, oh, this is on page 190, okay? Dave, show them the picture of the book that we got today. It is so stinking cool. I was like, oh, that looks nice. And Dave did the cover, guys. What do you think? What do you looks think? Looks pretty swanky to me. Looks pretty swanky to you. <laughs> you like it, huh, Mr. Killam? Yeah. Have you pre-ordered your copy of Dining on a Dime Cookbook <coughs> Volume sure. 2? Sure. Have you been enjoying the ebook that comes free with it when you pre order? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yep. All right, so this is the easy fruit dip. Lovin', that is, we got that from the, uh, we got that from the printer just this morning, a picture of the finished book. Super, super excited about that. Okay, who in the world 
loves sweetened condensed milk. Am I the only person who loves sweetened condensed milk? Oh my goodness, I could just eat that by itself. I absolutely love it. <laughs> so, you've got your sweetened condensed milk, you've got your cream cheese, and your lemon juice. Now, volume two, once again, volume two, it's on page 190, okay? Easy fruit dip, page 190. So if you have the ebook, that's what you're looking for. So you just mix this around. I'm not using the mixer because I don't want to be too loud, but the mixer gets it extra super smooth, okay? Now, let me do my sloppy joe here. Get it all yummerumo warm through. Okay. There we go. Okay, there's your sloppy joes, guys. I mean, 30 seconds to make it, and it's even better. Let me tell you, it's way better than the canned stuff. Okay, I'll do a plate here in just a second and show you everything. Okay, so we're going to mix up the fruit dip. Okay, maybe I should have gotten the mixer. Ugh, I forgot how hard mixing my hand is. I was trying to save on noise. But there you go. Do we still have anybody here after my spaz on Monday? <laughs> my yeah, complete and total breakdown on Monday? A number of people were saying they really liked it, so thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. Actually, thank you, everyone, for all your words of support and those uh. of you who agreed with me because, you know, I'm right. <laughs> Oh, it, sorry, I just said that for those people. <laughs> a lot of people asked if you, um, a lot of people asked where you get the lemon crystals. These I ordered off of Amazon, but you can just get them at Walmart. They're right there in the baking section. Sometimes they'll be in the drink section, but usually it's the baking section. Okay, you, the true lemon? Yeah. Okay, you want this actually to be smooth. But my arm is wearing out, so it's not going to be. Um, Ooh. I'm going to show you here real quick. Mm. So do this with a blender, or not a blender, with a mixer, so you don't have any lumps. Okay, so let me show you here real quick. So we've got our dip, and then we have our strawberries right here there we go there we go and then we have our sloppy joe this is guys this is why i say dinner in like five ten minutes and you don't have to spend an hour in the drive-thru doesn't that look delicious Okay, Mike, my taste tester, is going to try the strawberry, the dip here. Okay. Mm. What do you think? Delicious? That's really good. Yum. Which dip is that? Mm. The fruit dip. I need you, Jack. Let me go grab That's from thing. Dining 2? Yeah. You want to try it? Jack's never tried this one. Okay, here you go. I have not. Try that one, see what you think. You did make the sloppy joe at the beginning of this video, right? Mm hmm Okay. It was just really quick. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good, good, huh? All right. One last thing I'm going to make. It's cream cheese. Mm. Can you go bring me the thing that I asked you to bring me? Please. And Dave, there's a thing of coconut milk in a jar in the fridge. Can you give it to me? Now, this one is... Make sure the freezer door gets closed. This is Dole Whip. It's in a jar with a lid that is like blue. Yep, purple, I guess, not blue. Sorry, a jar with a lid is not every purple. jar in here. A jar with a lid is every jar in there. Okay, now this is just some coconut milk, full fat coconut milk. Now this is the Dole Whip, two ingredient Dole Whip that is in volume two. Dining on a dime, right there. Now, what you do is you can take fresh pineapple or canned, can you close the door? 
You can take fresh pineapple or canned if you want. Now, this is canned crushed right here that I froze, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is just break it up into little pieces. Oh, that's the pineapple you said? Mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't hear you, but I thought, Pour what is in that? your coconut milk, okay? All my coconut milk right in there. That looks pretty viscous. That looks pretty viscous. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what viscous means. Just help is that a newfangled word in the 20th century? It's been a word for a while now, Mom. Oh. <laughs> all right, and then I'm just going to break it all up. Just like so. Mm. Burr, this is cold. It's been used since before the 1800s, so you should know this. <laughs> it's been used since before the 1800s? Yeah. Viscous has? <clears throat> wow. It must... I... I, mean, I didn't go to college, you know, so you don't. I, mean, I don't know these newfangled words that all these college kids go to nowadays. All right, Dave, volume. You're going to blend this, okay? Got volume? Yeah. Or not. <laughs> well, you need to add a little liquid? I did. That was the coconut. This is, uh, is it just too I think my chunks are too big. <laughs> okay, let's try again. I think my chunks are this too big. This is normal. Thanks, Jack. Okay, well, maybe we won't be having pineapple with today. Is the thing actually turning on the bottom? Well,. So here's the thing. Like, could you have I'm wondering if action? my blender is my blender broke, and they sent me a new part, and I'm wondering if it's not working. Jesse, do you have the blade in? Well, <laughs> maybe you should make sure. This is fine. That would be hilarious if you didn't. Well, I'm wondering <clears> if there's. Okay, I know this recipe works because I've actually done it. But. You want to pour it in here and check the blade. Oh, you know what? Actually, it is turning. Yes. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I didn't use the chunk of pineapple this time. Do you want to put half of it in here and then try to blend the first half and then put the rest in? Well, I guess I can. Okay, well. We are having a usual Tara moment here. Is it working better? So I think, okay, make your chunks smaller, okay? That's my problem, my chunks are too big. Everyone is saying add liquid and yeah. Add a little. Well, here's the thing. I would, but by the time I have somebody try and find a can of coconut, that's not what it's supposed to look like. But just, it's still delicious. Can you just add like a quarter cup of water. Oh, yum! That's really good. Okay, hold on. Let me go see if I can find another can of coconut milk. <laughs> <clears throat> I would, but, oh, I forgot we're not on YouTube tonight. Yeah, for uh, everyone who has come over from YouTube, thanks. We were having trouble, but it turns out I think it's a YouTube problem because Facebook was going fine. So Okay, and we're going to get this going. And for those of you wondering, we made the uh, Sloppy Joe at the beginning of the show, and then what else did you make, the second thing? Is this the new... <laughs> Stupid Walmart can opener. <laughs> Actually, that one's kitchen made, but it doesn't seem that much better. It doesn't seem like a whole lot better. You get a can opener from 1965. <laughs> <sighs> okay, here we go. Now let's try this again, guys. Oh yeah, a number of people are saying what about milk, but you got the coconut milk. Yeah, I got the coconut milk. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll try this again. All right, volume down. Rustic whipped cream, <laughs> yes, Jennifer. <laughs> Still not going? 
what I did. Okay, so do as I say and not as I do. I used the wrong size can of pineapple. Did I mention I need a break? Okay, there we go. We're getting close. Good job. That's what I did. All right. You did what? Huh? What did you forget? I used the extra large can of pineapple, but I only used. Oh, regular can of. Regular can Ooh, of. Oh man, that looks good. <laughs> I'm like, I know this recipe works. This is not rocket science, Tara. People. All right. There you go. But you're holding it too. Woo. So, is it still a little thick, or is that top part the way it no, normally looks? No, it's supposed looks? to be thick, because it's wow. like a, it's like a, I don't know, I've never been to Disney World, so oh, I don't know like what it is. it's kind of like ice cream. But it's some fancy ice cream that they have at Disney World that's supposed to be whippy, and I don't know. <laughs> wow. But, I'm someone who happens to love pina colada, so I would probably love whatever their whippy ice cream is called. So would you top this with but strawberries or something too, or just? You can. Oh, oh man. Have mercy. <laughs> okay. So, so there's some confusion. Some people still, I think, think this is the last show ever. Okay. It's not the last show ever, guys. <laughs> we are taking a break until August or September, probably closer to September. I am really tired. We really haven't had a break for a year and a half. Or longer. Probably two years. We went on our trip last year. But there was a few days, like when we were in Massam, that was pretty relaxing. Norway was a little relaxing. But, or, yeah. And, I mean, it was. Massam was awesome. But we haven't really had a break from business stuff. Because even though we were doing... The trip, we were doing videos and stuff. Anyway, so we're taking a break until August or September for the live shows. I'm going to keep doing videos, but just have them recorded. The new books are going to be on their way probably Monday. We thought they were going to be on their way this week. Dave, show a picture. We got a picture of the new Dining on a Dime from the printer today of the Dining on a Dime Volume 2. Nothing. Nothing. It and looks great. <clears throat> Absolutely loving it. So you guys can see it's a hardback book. No spiral this time that will lay flat. Mm. And look at that baby. Woo! Done by your brilliant son. My brilliant son. Mm -hmm. So we have... So it's funny because volume one is the original book and then volume two is the new one. And uh, we actually have them printed at two different printers, <laughs> but they're both going to be like this kind of hardcover and uh, we had samples from them and they lay flat really nicely. And uh, we were just really excited about getting them. Back. We had so many printer issues. We were like, let's just try. Oh, Both printers you. and see. Did, did you see how generous she is? <laughs> Somebody was saying it must be good because Mike keeps reaching for it. It's really good. So, guys, follow the directions in the cookbook. This one is in Dining on a Dime, too. It's kind of warm today. I used the wrong size of pineapple. That was my fault. Oh, man, that's good. I love pina colada. Uh, Paula was wondering, do you freeze the pineapple first? Do you, do you have to? Yes. Oh, you do have to. Well, okay. so it's ice creamy like. I see. Gotcha. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the last live show thing, it's the last live show for now. Um, and if you saw on YouTube, you didn't get a chance for us to explain because YouTube bought the farm pretty early. So it's our last show, live show for a little bit longer. If you guys have questions, go ahead and post them in the comments and Mike will grab them. Um, 
so we are um, taking a break from the live shows. We have a whole slew of new products coming out. Nothing has been going right, and we're just like, we have to cut something. So we're cutting the live show so we can get some things done, hopefully. Um, Marietta says, can we make the whip with another fruit? My husband hates pineapple. Yes. Oh, I have made this with peach. I have made it with strawberry. I've made it with a combination of banana, <clears throat> strawberry, peach. Super yummy. Um, you can use blueberries. You can use anything you want. If it's not sweet enough for you, you can add a little bit of sugar. You can add a little bit of vanilla. Anything you want, you can put in there. Basically, all it is is a glorified smoothie. But, you know. <laughs> I think Tara needs to take up a relaxing hobby. That would be very, very good. I don't know how to relax. Yeah, we... Actually, what really we need don't. is a rela relaxation specialist. Actually, what we need is for Tara to go to a spa <laughs> for between now and when we come back. Actually, part of my problem is I don't have any fun and I don't relax. Because I'm not feeling good. I don't feel like doing anything. So doing fun stuff is not fun for me. So I just sit and work on books all the time because nothing is ever fun for me. And even gardening, when it's 110 degrees outside, you don't really feel like going out in the garden and doing anything. I mean, I piddled around last night a little bit, but even gardening isn't fun because you just got to do so much work and I don't know. So, yeah. Susan is asking, is ground beef as good when you brown and refreeze? Yes. I think it is. Well, I don't yeah. know. Here. Taste it. Oh, where's that? Oh. I don't think she's oh. disagreeing. I just think she doesn't know. Jack snarfed the whole thing. <laughs> he snarfed it all. So that should be the answer, right? Uh, Rosemary. And you can add onions if you want or anything to this, too. Ooh, yum. Actually, I love to put big old chunks of onion on there. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You done, or do you want more? Oh. Uh, I'll probably be done for the moment so I can still use a computer. Um, all right. Yeah, so basically, um, <clears throat> I think a lot of, I, I think some of you have noticed Tara hasn't been feeling very well for the last several months. And um, we're hoping that, we're hoping that the rest of us can get her to stand down a little more than usual. You have re been reading a little I bit. I have been trying to do more. And, um, What's funny is, I always think it'd be great to send her off to a cabin somewhere where there's no power <laughs> and not take any devices with her. Actually, we have started looking at land to just buy a piece of land and just put a tiny house on and just have it as a house and just stay here if we can't find something else. But land in Colorado is crazy expensive anyway. So that probably won't happen. It'd have to be a really good deal. But a really good deal did come up, but it went out of contract like in two hours, so we missed it. Well, but. we hadn't considered that kind of an option until after we saw it, and then it was already gone. Mm -hmm. Ricky said, oh my goodness, I can't have fun for this very same reason. It still ends up in some kind of work. Yeah. Well, it's funny because a couple years ago, we sent her to another city in Colorado for a month in the off-season, so it was a lot cheaper. Um, but at the time, we made the mistake... I think you had your computer with you, and so it was, she... Well, we kept having business melt. So what happened was, that was right after his parents had taken us to court, and we had um, taken in our niece, and we had, I had had three car accidents, and we literally had one thing after another going on. You guys don't know it, but back in 26, 26 2014 was an awful year. 2014 and 2015 was awful. And so we had all kinds of stuff and I finally got to the point where I was like, oh my goodness, I think I'm going to collapse. So we took some of my car accident money that I got for from that. It wasn't much. It was like 1500 bucks. So we took that 1500 bucks and I went to a motel for a month because they had by the week. It was like $200 a week or something. And Tried to relax then, but didn't work. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> oh, by the way, um, 
Oh my goodness, I don't know what beach in Florida, but just wanted to let you know, thank you, I got your card and your help with Bibles, thank you. For those of you who, let me just say real quick, for those of you who have asked for Bibles and you haven't gotten an email from me yet, I ran out of Bibles again, got more on the way, um, so please just be patient, hopefully they'll be here in a week or so. Sorry, I keep doubling my order every time. I keep doubling my order every time, and we're just going through them really fast. So I'm really glad that you guys really want the Bibles, but if you've asked for one and I haven't gotten back to you yet, please don't think that I'm not getting you one. I just ran out and am waiting. <clears throat> um, Anne says, can we still order volume one in, in paper or hardback even after two comes out? Yes. Except Both. only, except one is only. It's, it's only hardback. It's only hardback. Yeah, we don't have any paperback dining on a dime. Um, it's only hardback. We have volume one and volume two, two completely different books that go together. I wanted to put them together, but it would have been a 900-page book, and everybody was like, "No, you can't do that." So. Volume one is the 20 years that we've been selling the cookbook is this one. Volume two is completely brand new recipes, all brand new recipes. It comes in hardback. Dave, show them the picture. It is 30% off until Thursday, July 9th for pre-orders. 30% off Thursday, July 9th for pre-orders. And Dining on a Dime version, uh, volume one, the original one will be the same style as that volume two that you just saw. Janelle says, have you ever tried a weighted blanket? It really helps me relax and rest really well. I have thought about that. I just couldn't bring myself to pay the price if it didn't work. I guess I could try it and take it back to Bed Bath & Beyond if it didn't work or something, but it's like a hundred bucks for one of those blankets. I was like, man. But I've heard really good things about them, and I do have to sleep with a blanket. I don't sleep well unless I have a blanket on me, but... <clears throat> And one thing, even though we'll be trying to get keep Tara from doing too much and kind of hopefully she can recover herself some, uh, we, th there are some others of us who are going to continue working on the new books and the new things during that time so that uh, when we do come back, a lot of that we stuff will be done. We still have a house and we can't pay for the lights. <laughs> because right now, uh, partly Tara has been thinking about too many things and I think she's just burning herself out, short circuiting some. And so we were thinking if we could, if the rest of us could get those projects out of the way while well, she's hopefully doing less. And I have to say, Jane totally understands you. That's what I need. What Tara needs is a cabin, a recliner, a stack of Grace Livingston Hill books and a personal chef. That is absolutely true. At this point, I could subsist, subsist, subsist on tuna and crackers at this point i would be able to do that but yeah that's real i mean we we have not found a house yet I, well i found one yesterday perfect two houses on almost two acres with an outbuilding already built in our price range i was super excited getting ready to go look at it and i looked at the map and it's by two big cross streets in a town north of here, Goalie. <laughs> so I was very disappointed. The houses had been remodeled. Mom wants a new nice house so she doesn't get something old and stinky. And, and so, yeah, so we were, we, I was so excited, but so now we're kind of thinking, okay, should we just stay here and see if we can find a piece of land for like $50,000 and just put a tiny house on it and just go there once a month or something? I don't know. I think it'd be more than once know. a month. I think if we had that, you would be going a lot. Well, I probably would, but... And I kind of think that might be better because what we've been looking for in houses is somewhere we could continue the business and some other things like that. But if it was a separate tiny little getaway thing, then it doesn't have to have power, which is one of the things that we think would be helpful for Tara to be able to go like it's camping yeah. almost. So, and that would be a lot less expensive and than just And I had thought moving. about just going camping by myself, but you're not allowed campfires now. So, 
I'm like, man, <clears throat> surely so, I wouldn't burn down the forest in Colorado. With my luck, I'd burn down the entire state. <laughs> Let's have to keep you from having matches. When do you get the possible? ebook when you order volume two, Lisa? Right when you order, you get an email that says, thank you for your order, and it will send you the link. There will, there will be two. If you order the print book, there will be two emails, mm -hmm. and one of the two has the information about the print book, and the other one has information about the ebook. So, yes. If you order the print book, you should receive the ebook automatically in like one minute. And if you don't get it, you might wait just a little bit longer in case the computer system is slow for some reason. But if you don't get the ebook, let us know and we will make sure you get that. Yep. Because that right right now the ebooks are free with the print book version because we want you to be able to enjoy it while you wait for the print book. Once the print books arrive, then the ebook will be a separate thing again. <clears throat> Why are we looking for a new house, Stacy? So we have a problem where we have outgrown our garage for storing books. And we have talked about getting a warehouse or something like that, but it's really not practical. So we're looking for a place that has land three quarters to an acre or more so we can build an outbuilding and put our books in there. And um, also we want to get away. We don't like living in the suburbs. We don't like having neighbors. So we would like to get somewhere where we can have at least enough space that we don't have to listen to neighbors dogs barking all the time. And actually I, I personally would think that's the bigger reason. Um, like Tara's, she has a chronic illness. And even if you didn't have a chronic illness, it it's kind of oppressive to constantly have dogs barking all the time everywhere around you. And not to be able to really go out in the yard because neighbor dogs are threatening you. I can't go you, in my garden. Are threatening you when you're in your yard on your side of the fence because they're theoretically protecting their turf, but they're actually protecting your turf from you too. <laughs> So uh, that, that's a problem even if you're not sick, but since Tara's chronically ill, her illness, um, part of it is like grating noises or continual repetitive things like that make her feel really, really sick, like she has the flu. And so, I have some sort of noise issue that when noise like that happens, it triggers something in my brain that literally makes me sick. Like if everybody's talking to me all at once, or like if we're in the car, the radio's on and the kids are talking and Mike's trying to talk to me and the windows are down or whatever. We, I can't do that. It, it literally short circuits my body and I get physically ill. So listening to dogs barking all day long really makes me sick. Thankfully, God has been merciful and because of the quarantine, more people are home. So thankfully, I got a little bit of relief this year from that, but... Um. But one of the reasons why I suggested re recently a small piece of land with a cabin in the middle of nowhere is it might be away from dogs and it would be a lot cheaper than just than buy than selling this house and buying another one. I don't know. And I just thought that maybe if Tara had the chance to go completely away and be in a quiet place for... See, Ellen said Jesus went out into the wilderness for 40 days. I was going to say... I think I should go to the wilderness for 40 days. Would you miss me? Yes, I would. Sorry, it took me a second because I was looking at the question. Um, how did you raise your credit score? I don't know if that's asking us or someone else. Pay your bills on time. We so, just... use your credit cards if you have them, but pay them off every month. Um, what my kids did to get some credit was my son bought a car. He had the cash for it, but he got a 0% loan paid it every day and then after the six months when the interest rate was going to go up he paid it off and that's how he got his credit going um so we don't normally condone car loans but he had the cash to pay it and he was only using it as a tool to build his credit if you have a credit card don't get 15 credit cards get one use it to buy things pay it off that's you know pretty much how you do it um you just uh, pay your bills on time too. That really helps. So, well, and I wouldn't recommend this unless you have extremely good control of your money. But if we really needed credit and we didn't have a credit score, I probably would put 
So I would probably put some regular bills on a credit card and pay it off like the same day. Well, anyway, before the bill comes so you don't ever pay any interest on it, just for a while because uh, we found out kind of by accident that we, if we pay, if, if, if the bill charge, if the card charges a certain amount and then it gets paid off right away in the month over and over again, it makes it look like, wow, these people just, they have no problems paying everything all the time and, and then they, they raise your credit score for that. Yeah. Um, but I say the reason I say unless you have extremely good control is if you're if you've ever carried a balance, then you're the type of person that it might be dangerous for you to do that. Yeah. Or if you're getting new furniture or something and the store is offering zero percent, then take advantage of that. But make sure you have the cash to pay for it. Don't just go do it and then spend that cash on something else. So coconut milk tastes like coconut cherry. I mean, I. That's pretty much what it tastes like. And if you buy this stuff in the store that's in the half gallon, like a re like regular milk, it's similar to milk, but it has a slight coconut taste. And it's but it's thinner than milk. Um, I think mm. it's really good. But oh, that's not a tooth. it is a problem. I would say the thing with coconut milk is it's best if you use it with things that you don't mind them being slightly sweeter after you put it on, because um, oh no. Uh, Is that a tooth? I don't know. Looks like a fingernail. <laughs> um, I just, I just got something really hard. Oops, where'd it go? Do you want to go in the bathroom and look at it? Well, well it's gone now. Actually, wait. You got it out of this? Mm-hmm. Well, pineapple has these little edgy pieces on it sometimes. No, but this is really hard. I know. That's been my experience, but okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, I feel like I got all my teeth still in there, but... Um... So Melissa says, I got a secured loan when I first started out. Um, yes, I think, didn't BJ do that for a little yeah. while before that? Yeah. So our son was trying different kinds of things to be able to figure out how to get his credit score up. Amy. And oh, sorry. Mostly... I didn't realize that if you rent an apartment now, it's very common for them to ask for credit. Otherwise, I... Yeah. We also put our kids on our credit card. They're not allowed to use it, but it helped get their credit started. So we did that also. Yeah, um, Paula says middle of the pineapple, and I, I found that to be true with pineapple. Well, you know what it looked like? It looked like one of those things when you buy, like, new towels or something, and they put the little plastic thing through. It looked like the end of the plastic thing. I'm wondering <clears> if somehow... <gasps> These are new towels. So? I wonder if that plastic thing fell off oh, on if my it was spoon. A punchy thing. I bet it spell, fell off on the spoon or something. Uh, Amy says I need an off, oh, an off-grade cabin. I would love to go find an off-grade cabin to stay at for two weeks. That would be my dream. I just don't know how you would find something like that. Especially now. Everything's probably booked up, but... Yeah, Ellen said my current goal is not to have a credit score, but that doesn't work for everyone. Yeah, well, we, it is good. I guess we find it useful well, for a few yeah. things. But the thing about a good credit score is it enables you to get more debt. And that can be a trap if you're not very well disciplined. Like, our credit so. score is so good that we can get a ridiculous loan for the next house if we wanted to. But, but we, we don't want do to. that. So, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, let's see. We... Um, we probably won't do our cookbooks in audio. I'm sorry. That would probably just be way too hard. Yeah. Sorry. We've looked at something like that before, but it was just really expensive, and only a few people were asking. Um, okay, so... Yeah, oh, I forgot what I was saying on the uh, coconut milk is it does kind of add a little sweet to it, so you, you wouldn't want to use it for, like, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah. And the dairy-free, gluten-free um, cookbook that we're trying to finish, hopefully we'll finish it during our break here. Um, 
I talk about the different kinds of milks and that kind of thing, but coconut milk can put a strange flavor on some things like macaroni and cheese and that. So in that case, I use rice milk instead. I don't use coconut milk for baking most things unless a coconut flavor would be good. Like if it's a chocolate cake, chocolate coconut tastes good. So something like that, I would use it. Um, hmm. And Donna says, get a property and get a shed and make a tiny house. Well, yeah, that's what we were actually thinking about doing. Actually, there's a really cute shed at a Home Depot in, a, in the town <laughs> north of us that is, it's like a, it looks like a Walton's house and it's two stories, but it's really a tiny, it's like a shed, yep. 200 square foot foot pad or mm -hmm. a footprint and then it has a little upstairs to it. And I thought that's really cool looking. Did I use unsweetened coconut milk? Yes, Cindy, I did, but the pineapple was canned and so it had some um, sweet juice in it that adds sugar, but you can add sugar if you want or use sweetened. Actually, Bertha says, by not buying what car dealerships tell us we can afford, our credit stays in good shape. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's absolutely true. And it's not just car dealerships, but anyone that makes loans, they are willing to loan you up to the amount where you got, you're you stuck in it and you can't really pay it off very easily. And then you're just paying all the time yeah. for nothing new. So if you take their advice and borrow the maximum you can borrow, you're, you're putting yourself in a bad place. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, unfortunately, when you go to get a loan, it, the advertising makes it sound like we're here to help you out, but really they're here to help them out. <laughs> so, yeah, we're here to sham you. So you have to be kind of shrewd and ideally not borrow. Sophia, I will make a video on white gravy, white sauce just for you. I will do that while we're on break, so watch YouTube for that. Oh, Kimberly says the Amish also have small cabins. I did not know that. Really? Um, the problem is in Colorado, land is what's expensive here, which is why we're having a hard time. We can't find internet and land together. And so... But we were looking at... Uh, the other day we happened to see a property that was not very expensive, but had like 10 acres of land in the middle of nowhere in the mountains with like a hundred and something year old cabin on Yeah. It, it uh, was pretty cool. So a lot of the... This, Today was uh, about, we were making, uh, what do you call these again? Sloppy, Sloppy Joe. Joe, and we made fruit dip and pineapple, pineapple whip, which is really yummy. It was all awesome. Yep. And we're also, we've also been announcing to people who haven't heard already that uh, we are going to be, uh, this is our last show for a while. We're going to be taking a little hiatus from it so Tara can kind of rest and mm -hmm. hopefully rest. And the rest of us can uh, try to finish some new and exciting kind of projects that uh, hopefully we can bring to everybody when we come back. So that's mm -hmm. kind of the idea. So, Do I have any idea what video topics we'll be producing while we're gone? So Mom and I filmed about 15 videos and those are all over the place like single moms being lonely, how to retire when you don't have any money, stuff like that. So those, um, those are coming out and then I'm doing a bunch of cooking videos. We're trying to swing back more towards some short cooking videos and see if that will do anything. We aren't on YouTube, Marilyn. We had, YouTube was having issues tonight, so. It's kind of ironic, but we went on and it was just the YouTube side, yeah. so. So don't forget guys, 30% off Dining on a Dime Volume 1 and Volume 2 until tomorrow evening. Volume 2 is a completely different book with new recipes than Dining 1. Shall volume 1. Throw up the picture. Dining, yep. Dining Volume 1 is our original cookbook. Everybody's loved for years. The last edition was the 20th anniversary, same book. This is Dining 2. Dining 2. Dave is putting the picture we got from the printer today. And um, I think it looks stinking good. It does. It looks really good. Cindy, you freeze, yes, you do freeze the leftover Dole Whips. Mm -hmm. And then just defrost it for a little bit. Doesn't that look so good? Oh, makes me want to just go eat it right up. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought I saw a mistake. No mistakes. I just thought I saw one. I was like, no. Oh, um, oh yeah. And I don't know where my, where did my planner cover goes. If you guys, oh yeah. If you guys are wanting the 2021 planner, 
We are doing pre-orders for those. This is the hardcover. I don't have the e-version done yet. That's one of the many things we're trying to work on to get done. But we have pre-orders on the planners. This is the small and we have the large one also, eight and a half by 11 also. So question about the planner pre-orders. Um, yeah. Are those, the numbers that you gave me, is, is that, what's the scoop on that? Is that all we're gonna have or? So like... right now I have 150 large being printed and I think 200 small, something like that. At the moment, that's it. The way things have been going this year, I'm not sure I'm going to get more done. We just are having the hardest time getting anything to work around here. So, if you want one, I would get it ordered because I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get another order in. Um, so yeah. Oh, Maria, enjoy your break. Greetings from Ireland. We love our friends uh... in Ireland. <laughs> Thanks. It's glad that it's good to have you here. Are yep. we going to have a sale on the new planners? No, not planning on having a sale because I only have a few copies. So I'm not planning on having a sale in February. If I still have some left, I'll have a sale then in February, but until then I'm not. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Of course I will, honey. I was thinking, do I even need to say that? <laughs> um. Don't I always? <laughs> Yeah, I have no response to that. Um, but uh, we, so Tara got the idea for the planners last year and we bought a lot more supplies than we needed for the planners that uh, we were able to get done that year. So partly we're using the rest of those supplies. Yeah. And the printer, uh, they're friends of ours that um, have the supplies. We thought this would be a good time when they're really having a, a slowdown in the business from everything that's happening. To get them done. To just get them done now. And uh, so we hadn't intended to do more, but I, I guess the correct me if I'm wrong part is, um, I think depending on how those go and other yeah. factors, we might do more. Okay, if I just sell out of these by, let's say, the 1st of September, I might go ahead and, and do another order. But everything is the <clears> same. <throat> it's going to be new quotes and new Bible verses, but, at, but the layout is the same. The only difference is this one is not going to have the tabs in there. I'm sending the tabs with the planner for you to optionally add the tabs if you want to. The tabs will come with it, but it's optional if you want to use the tabs or not use the tabs. So that's what we're doing on that. Uh, no, we are not on YouTube tonight. YouTube was misbehaving, so we had to leave YouTube and just yeah. do Facebook. Uh, <clears throat> somebody was asking about the, oh, uh, one thing I was gonna mention, we've had a lot of questions with people that are confused about Dining one versus dining two, or something about the planners. The if you go to our store, um, I've been sharing the link for it, but you can go to livingonadime.com and click shop, and it'll take you there. Uh, if you go to the store and look at the individual things, it'll tell you like on the planners there are there are pictures from last year's planner inside, but the inside is going to look the same except it's just going to have new dates and new sayings. Everything, all the arrangement of it will be the same. So well, the dates will stay the same, but the day on the dates will change because it's a different year. But well, it's not new dates. Let me. When I said new dates, I meant 2020 <laughs> versus 2021. <laughs> My goodness, you're a little spicy. <laughs> so, I'm just messing with you. Um, but the if you want to know what the inside looks like, there are interior pictures on the store page for the planners. And the same thing with Dining 1 and Dining 2. Um, a lot of people were confused <laughs> that Dining 1 is the original, Volume 1 is the original book and Volume 2 is the new book. But if you're unsure, you can go in. Uh, on the Dining, we have this little video thing on the page where if you click it, it's a simulation. I mean, it actually has the book, but it, it turns the pages so you can see everything that's in there and kind of if you want to know what's different between them you can look at the pages on one and look mm -hmm. at the pages on the other yeah so. uh, Ellie Darlene email me if you need something specific because we love you but she's waiting for products ingredients to get back in stock in August she has a few soaps left so if there's something particular you need she has a few soaps left but she's waiting for 
goat kink cream products to get back in. Oh, so. thanks for everyone saying enjoy the summer. Yes. And All right, guys, please go to livingonadime.com. Check out our new cookbooks arriving in a month or so or two, well, about six weeks. Um, we have them 30% off right now, livingonadime.com. Grab them while they're on sale for pre-orders. You get the ebook version when you pre-order so that you can start enjoying it already. We will be back probably around September 1st. Join our newsletter. Go to livingonadime.com and join our newsletter if you want to see all the new products that are going to be coming out while we're on a break. You guys might want to. There's some free stuff going to be happening. So <clears throat> join our newsletter because we're going to be having some free things coming out on that. So, yes. I was just trying to read Bertha's thing here. Got to tell you, my husband and I watch you faithfully. Love you guys and Jill too. We've been quietly watching for at least a year. We're Christians as well. And thanks a lot. Uh, Aww. We think a lot like you guys on a lot of topics. Well, thank you very much. Yes, and thank you guys for all the Bible help. If you want a Bible, email us in the contact form at livingonadime.com and we will send you a Bible on us, no charge. We just want you to be able to have God's Word. But I ran out, so if I don't get it sent right away, they're, they're on the way. But just go ahead and sign that contact form if you want a Bible, and we will get that to you. Absolutely. We have been shipping them out faster than I can keep them ordered. So that's a good problem to have. Thank but, you, everyone, for all the kind comments. Yep. And thank you so much for all your encouragement. All of you guys who sent me all kinds of encouraging emails and comments on YouTube. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Yep. Living on a dime dot com. We'll see you guys in several weeks. Bye. All right. <laughs>